Welcome to Little Garden on the Prairies. In today's video, I'm going to take you into my grow tent and show you all the stuff that is going on there. Do a little bit of maintenance on some of my plants in there. First of all, I just wanted to show you. I'm excited to see that I finally got germination on this seed. This is something that I have never attempted to grow indoors before. So if you want to take a guess at what it is, I will tell you what it is at the end of the video. So stay tuned. Okay, so here's a look at what my grow tent is looking like early December. I have some tomatoes that are ready to pick, some sun gold cherries. I've got some cucumber in the back there. I'll zoom in on a little bit closer that hasn't started flowering yet, but hoping to see some blooms. And then these are my four other plants that I just put in here a week ago. And as you can see, they are doing really well. I um, needed to prune out a couple of these plants because I got too many going. I've left it quite a while here. I can see looking today that they are really sucking up their nutrients. Um, so I'm going to have to wean out two of these plants, unfortunately. So I'm just kind of looking them over to decide which one is going to stay and which two are going to have to go into the compost. So I can see this one here is probably the smallest of the three. So I'm gonna just cut it out, throw it in there. It's hard to say which ones have the best root system because that's what it looks like right now. So I think just kind of going by which one is in the best position here, I'm going to, um, well, I'll just cut out the second one. As you can see, it's a little bit loose here. I might have to bring in some more of the clay balls just to kind of stabilize it. And hopefully it will take off and keep growing. This one here is the Brandywine tomato. So it looks like, like a bigger uh, plant than the other tomato one that I got going here. So this one here is called the Prairie Pride and it is a bush variety tomato. So it's a little bit shorter and bushier as you can see. Got two really nice plants here again that I need to eliminate one. So I'm just going to cut one out. Show you the roots. Looking pretty good. And the last one here that I need to thin out is my Diva Cucumber. They seem to be going neck and neck, these two plants, but I'm just going to snip one of them out. And this one should take off. I will put it up against some of the netting here on the side of my grow tent and let it take off. This is my King of the North Green Pepper, and I only did have one plant that was growing in here, so it is doing good, spitting out some more leaves. Got some nice roots going here. Not really drinking up a lot of the nutrient water yet, which is normal. These ones here, once they really get growing and start to shoot out more flowers, they will drink up a lot. I can see that the, the water level has gone down quite a bit. So for these four that are just kind of what I call in the the mid to uh, aggressive vegetative stage, I've mixed up a batch of nutrients based on that uh, chart that comes on the three part nutrients. And I just marked it aggressive so I know what mixture I have here. And I also have a batch mixed up at the blooming and fruiting stage that I use to top up the tomato and the cucumber here at the back that are much more advanced. So it's got more of the bloom nutrients in it. So as you can see here, my sun gold has some beautiful ripe tomatoes. So I'm going to actually pick a couple here. I think I can probably take at least these four off of it right now. So this is my first harvest out of the grow tent this season. And as you can see on my sun gold here, I got lots more fruit coming, lots more blooms. I just keep kind of securing it with some strings and different 
things like this that I have strung up to the ceiling of my grow tent here as needed just to kind of keep it going. So hopefully I can get some more of the sun gold cherries off of this in the next month. Just try to give you a close up of the diva cucumber. If you can see up close here, you, there's a lot of spots where I should start seeing some flowers, blooms coming here pretty soon and hopefully some cucumbers. So thank you for sticking with me till the end of the video. So what I have started here from seed is the cantaloupe, the Minnesota midget. This is something that I have grown outdoors with a little bit of success. I think I only got one last year and now I'm going to try to do an indoor cantaloupe. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge because it does have to be pollinated and I'm not sure how that's going to go in the grow tent, but we're going to give it a try and see if we can get through the winter season and hopefully get a cantaloupe or two out of it. As you can see, it's got a bit of a root system going into this seed starting system I have here. So once it gets a good root system going, we will set it up in a crack key system and move it to the grow tent. So if you enjoyed watching today's video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and keep watching for future updates on my grow tent gardening coming to the channel.